Personally, it's easier to identify myself as first-generation Ethiopian-American as opposed to simply African-American, which is what many classify me as upon first glance. Here in America, whether we choose to acknowledge it or not, race plays a big part in determining your entirety as seen by other individuals. While I don't disagree that I am black, some disregard who all exactly constitute as black individuals within America. The umbrella term not only encompasses other first-generation African-Americans and African-Americans, yet also covers those with dark complexion and roots from other places around the world, such as the Caribbean and South America. While my parents, who grew up constantly surrounded by those of the same color, moved to, Ethi moved to America in their later lives, their knowledge of being black in America upon their arrival was limited. Also, the way in which American society and media portray the black individual correlates to the inferiority complexes composed within the mind subject to such content. Nevertheless, by virtue of what my parents saw as they grew up, black people in places of power, they never fell victim to subjugation. Be that as it may, I grew up here, and while my parents taught me what they knew, they couldn't have prepared me for what I was going to experience as an African American girl growing up in Los Altos. To such a degree, the social construct in which I have been categorized serves as yet another identity to my persona. Being first generation, my assimilation to the American social sphere was delicate. I was raised by my parents as their parents raised them in Ethiopia, so their teachings and advice didn't always coincide with those of my p friend's parents, not of foreign descent, or with American society. I grew up in two worlds, and balancing between both only got trickier with time. However, as I've aged, I've increasingly developed a strong sense of pride and respect for Ethiopia and its traditions and cultures. It isn't simply about the ethnicity label, but also the Ethiopian traditions, Abisha family members, religion, and the culture. With all these in mind, it's important to remember our foundations and who we are as we go through life.